Kia ora everybody. So today we're going to look at the 1.11 assessment and what you have to do for this. So the first part of this assessment is planning and collecting the data. So in class you'll be assigned into a group for this period. You'll, work, you'll open up the first document that you need to do for this part of the test um, assessment and you will plan in your group. So everybody in the group will write the plan and it should look identical for everybody in the group. You're copying exactly the same thing down into your own data a document. Okay. The first part is to look at the question. So you'll be given a question and you'll need to read this carefully and try and work out what you're being asked to compare. So for this example, we're looking at what is the relationship between the length and the width of leaves from a certain bush at Tawa College. So the first thing we need to look at is to state our variables what they are, how we're collecting them, what units we are using to measure them in. And we need to describe that in detail. So we're going to measure in millimetres the length and width of each leaf. So James will put the leaf down on the desk and Finn is going to measure it using a 30 centimetre ruler. So you can see I've been quite exact there. James will put it on the desk, Finn will measure it with a 30 centimetre ruler. We will measure the length from the base of the stem to where it meets the leaf at the point in a straight line. So we will measure it in millimetres and we'll measure the width at the widest part of the leaf and we'll measure that in millimetres. Next we need to talk about the sampling method. How much data do we want and why and how will we avoid bias or how will we avoid something that makes it not truthful. So we want to collect more than 25 pieces of data as this will give us a good amount to compare. I'm not sure how many leaves we're going to be given, but we're going to measure all of the leaves that we've been given so that we do not choose leaves and introduce bias. Because if we're allowed to choose, we might choose to just measure all the big ones and it may be different for the little ones than the big ones. So we may need to make sure we do them all. Next, we need to discuss how you'll manage variation. Now variation means how what could happen that means it's not authentic, that you haven't measured everything the same, all right? So sources of variation are things that come into play. For instance, um, if somebody was standing on a leg, was their dominant leg or their less dominant leg? So that would be a variation. We'd have to say, we want them to stand on their dominant leg so that we get rid of that. So in our case, we're going to prevent variation by getting Finn to measure all the leaves while James checks his measurements. We will measure using the same ruler for all our measurements so that means that it doesn't change because the ruler might measure differently. Hadley's going to record all the measurements in the table and James is going to check that they are all done in centimetres so we don't change that halfway through and we'll put the leaf to one side when we're done preventing us from having from measuring it again. So the data, how will you record your data? What headings will you use and who did that job, which job? So I'm going to use a Google spreadsheet to record my data. Here is an example of three measurements we collected. Actually, it's only two, but that's okay. And Finn measured the leaves, Hadley recorded the measurements, and James checked both of these things. And that's the end of the first part of your assessment. So you have to do all of that, talk about it, write it up, and put it into your document. And once you've done that, you need to submit your document. So at the end of the period, you must make sure you submit. All right? Okay.